a warm welcome to my presentation this is pooja shri sm from the department of microbiology now let us share some information about chromosomes first let us see about history of chromosomes in 1842 carl nagli first observed that rod like structure that was present in the plant cell waldeyer in 1888 he has coined the term chromosome walter southern and theodore boveri in 1902 suggested that chromosomes are the physical carrier of genes in the eukaryotic cells then this is the diagrammatic representation of the chromosomes which it consists of nucleosomes histones deoxyribonucleic acid chromosome means colored body that is referring to the staining ability by certain dyes a chromosome is a dna molecule that is consists of genetic material of an organism a chromosome is a dna molecule that consists of part of all the genetic material of an organism the chromosome is present in the nucleus of each cell and it is packaged into a thread like structure and they are structurally each chromosome is composed of dna that is tightly coiled around the special protein called as histones the structure of chromosomes a chemical composition of chromosome is histone protein and dna each cell has a pair of each kind of chromosomes known as homologous chromosomes chromosomes are made up of chromatin which contains a single molecule of dna and associated protein each chromosome contains hundreds and thousands of genes that are precisely codes for several proteins in the cell structure of a chromosome can be best seen during the cell division this is the structure of chromosome the chromosome which it contains two arms they are long arm and short arm long arm consists of two parts they are chromatide and telomere short arm consists of two parts they are telomere and centromere next types of chromosomes here we have four types of chromosomes they are sub metacentric chromosome acrocentric chromosome telocentric chromosome and at last metacentric chromosome first let us move on to sub metacentric chromosome the chromosomes whose centromere is present near the middle and divides the chromosome into two unequal arms and it is l shaped chromosomes Most chromosomes in humans are submetacentric. Example: second, fourth, to twelfth, seventeenth, eighteenth, and X chromosomes. Next, acrocentric chromosome. Chromosome whose centromere is present near the end of the chromosomes. It is forms the very short P arm and very long Q arm. Example: thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, twenty-first, twenty-second, and Y chromosomes are acrocentric in humans. and next is telocentric chromosomes these are the chromosomes which have centromeres present at the end of the chromosome it is observed in the humans the short p arm is barely visible the shape of the chromosome at the anaphase is like the letter i next is metacentric chromosomes the chromosomes whose centromere separates the chromosome into two unequally sized arms and it is located at the center of the each arm the metacentric chromosome is shaped like an x example 13th 16th 19th and 20 are the metacentric chromosomes in the humans these are the types of chromosomes according to their structures Here the metacentric chromosomes which it contains p arm and q arm whereas p arm is indicates the short one and q arm indicates the long one then functions of chromosomes chromosomes assist in the growth of reproduction regeneration and repair process chromosomes which it prevents the dna coil from being damaged and intertwined transferring of genetic material from one group to the another is the primary function of the chromosome Thank you.